would not want to wake up and do this day in a life. But here we go. Oh, you're gonna get back in bed? Lucky? All right, buddy, go back in bed. Gotta get the perfect scoop. The weather is super shitty today, but still gotta get out. Still gotta get after it. A lot of you guys have been asking me, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've been seeing that I've been working out every single day, sometimes twice a day. And so a lot of you guys have been asking me for my gym routine, for the things that I've been doing. And I just thought, well, why not just make a real day in the life? That way you guys can come along with me. It was up to the vlog. What'd it do? <laughs> you snuck up behind me. Just getting home from the gym. It's still raining, but the sun is starting to come out, so it feels like a nice reward. I'm really happy I went and did that. A lot of you have been asking me how I've been doing over the last month, month and a half, and the answer is I've been doing good. Life isn't perfect. I've had some good days. I've had some really fucking hard days, uh, and I feel like the one kind of constant thing that's helped me deal with all of this has been working out and taking care of myself and eating good. In the past, when I get depressed, uh, I would kind of just take it out on myself and feel really down and, you know, stay in bed for a week and not really be motivated to do anything. And, you know, right now I feel like I am the most emotionally mature I've ever been, responsible I've ever been, accountable I've ever been, and just really focused on my personal growth. I I I'm getting to do things that I've always wanted to do that I never kind of quite believed I could do. And so when you start crossing those things off, you start to surprise yourself and you build a whole new level of confidence. You know, I've always been an active person. I've always been someone who like loves the outdoors, whether it's like me riding my mountain bikes, dirt bikes, me going on hikes, me skateboarding, playing paintball. When I would get depressed, I would just kind of lose my interest in the things that I really loved. It would just be really easy to, to not kind of do anything and become stagnant and, you know, sit at home. You know, they say it all the time and it sounds cliche, but it's so true. But like the endorphins that get released when you go have a hard workout, they really just make your whole day better and just boost your whole mood. And that's something that I've been super grateful for and surrounding myself with people who instill that confidence and build that up has been, has been really important. When we go through hard times, it's really easy to kind of lose sight of our goals and the things that we want to achieve and the things that we set out for ourselves. I guess if I were to tell you anything, it's to be very deliberate in the things that you want. Make a list. You have to be really honest with yourself. Spend your time trying to check those things off of your list. If you want to learn how to play guitar, if you want to write a book, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you know, start that business. Set your mind to it, you know, step by step, little by little. Start to cross those things off because that is going to be the biggest reward. Sitting there and feeling bad for yourself, kind of going through this, this loop, pity, anger, resentment, self-sabotage, which is something that, you know, I've kind of done my whole life. It, it, it has never produced any positive results for me. And this is the kind of the, the first time that I'm not doing that. And it's just kind of turning a new page. And it feels really good. Someone told me a mistake is only a mistake until it becomes a lesson. And I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm taking all of my lessons and putting them to use so I do not make 
the same mistakes. Um, so I will continue to eat healthy. I will continue to work out. And in the past, it's like I would get into a workout routine and I would be very strict and very on top of it, you know, for a few days and then something would happen with my schedule or, you know, I'd miss and I'd be like, what's the point? And, and not get back on. And so be deliberate, figure out what you want for yourself and don't lose that. End of my rant. But I feel like this is the perfect time if you're watching this and you're going through a hard time. Uh, just know that you're not alone. Just know that it will get better, but you just gotta start. So me being on meal prep, this is what I eat every single morning. Same thing, breakfast tacos. Let me show you my chef skills, okay? Watch this. We do a little bit of this, we do that, the diagonal. This is imperative to the meal prep. It's a little pro trick that we do. If you really want them, them tacos. Is it popping good? <laughs> it's what? It's popping. I don't know. <laughs> I always ask myself that. <laughs> Maybe. It's killing off all the germs, dude. Oh, this shit's hot as fuck. Ooh, look at that. Just put a little bit of green salsa on there. Put a little bit of hot sauce on there. Fire. 7 p.m. was my last meal. So what's your window? I eat from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. So I eat for seven hours out of the day. I have three meals a day, two shakes, a pre-workout before I go to the gym, and BCAAs with my food. How much have you lost in weight? 13 pounds and counting. Yeah, and putting on a muscle. So for every like, I don't know, every couple pounds of fat I lose, I gain a pound of muscle, which has been nice, because your boy was skinny fat. Ow. <laughs> Thanks for eating with me. It gets lonely sometimes. If you really want to protect your shit. Boom. So this is just for your clothes? Yeah, that's where all my clothes are. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fucking cold. On the East Coast too. Going to New Jersey uh, to go film a certain show. Can't tell you what exactly. And then I'm gonna be in New York as well because I'm DJing Webster Hall for Emo Night in New York City. But I'm one of those weird people that has to unpack as soon as I get back. Like I can't leave my suitcase just filled. As soon as I get home, no matter if it's a 10 hour flight, if it's a two hour flight, uh, I have to get all my shit out of it and put it back. Shout out to MTV because <laughs> I said I was afraid of flying. I mean, they literally just dropped off disposable latex gloves. Pledge, clean it, multi-surface wipes. Yeah, yeah, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria effectively. This is for how long? Four days. <laughs> I'm a notorious overpacker. You know how I roll, bro? I can't be wearing no old shit. What are you on the Snoop Dogg tip? One wear? I'll give it like two wears and then burn it. That doesn't go for your underwear. I've seen you wear the same one for three days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. All right, that's cool. Oh. He has legs, man. Huh? I said he has legs. He won't go where I want him to go, though. Unless, I guess, I just put it out of the tree. He's camera shy. Same. Same thing. Want a treat? Go eat your treat. Want a Go. treat, Vic? Come on. Go get your treats. Oh, he's out. Out, out. Where are we headed? Going to Apple Music, baby. Garage check coming soon. Ow! No, I gotta clean this shit first. This shit is too messy. Just got to Apple. I wish you guys could come in, but you can't. So I'll see you when I'm done. Done with that bull. The sun is finally starting to come out. So I'm going to drop my truck off at Secret Studios. And I'm gonna get the roof wrap. Shout out to my homie Daniel. They got some cool cars over there. So I'll show y'all. And then back to my house and I'm gonna get picked up and go to the airport. And then we're gonna fly to the East Coast. Damn. That shit's crazy.
Yeah, they're wrapping this satin black. We just took off. And then they're wrapping this. This is TMZ right here. I'm on the East Coast, I'm in New Jersey at my hotel. I'm being uh, faced with the news that production is now canceled. So I'm literally packing up all my shit again and hopping right back on a plane and going to LA. Not how I saw the whole last 24 hours going, but it is what it is. I feel like all the news that's been coming out has been pretty crazy. So I'm going back to the airport and flying home and that is my day in the life. What a, what a ending. It's crazy. I can't believe it. Uh, woke up back in LA. Oh, the last 36 hours have been uh, been interesting. Um, you know, obviously I'm bummed that production got shut down and that I'm not able to work. Um, but we got to be safe and take the necessary precautions. So I'm sure uh, all that stuff will be figured out soon. I'm back in LA. The weather's still whatever. I spent the last 12 hours on a flight. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys for hanging out with me in my day in the life. I hope you had fun and, you know, stay safe out there. Um, be there for each other and we will all figure this out and get through this together. Um, yeah.